All right, guys, we picked it right back up after Barry's terrible joke there. How's everyone doing? Well, speak up. Terrible. It's just like whatever that was. <laughs> Sleep away camp, an 83 horror slasher that's basically Friday the 13th. No. No, it's better. Trust me. It like it doesn't seem better, but it's better. Nah, not better, but it's it stands in its own little like really good because they don't the kill it's a who killed sort of thing. They know one of them is a killer, but all the kills are a POV shot. Weird. Wait a minute. Let's just try the thirteenth three D, which was actually a good one. I thought it was pretty boring. Though the the very obvious 3D effects were hilarious. <laughs> I know it's like the most famous one for being the first time Jason wore the hockey mask. But... It wasn't even Jason. In three? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Are you sure? Yeah. He grabbed a man's head and smashed it with his own bare hands. You're right, it was three. Four was the one I'm thinking of. No, you're thinking about five, because four was the one where Jason was actually killed. Not th the real. Because five takes place Friday on the, the psychiatric farm, or wherever that was. And then six, Jason comes back to life. And two, he had a sack on his head and looked like the chainsaw guys from Resident Evil 4. You're right, you're right. He, he did, I am wrong. I will admit I'm wrong. Which one had the telepathic girl where, like, Jason's trying, like, just randomly telepath? Maybe Jason takes Manhattan? Or potentially Jason? No, Williams. it was the one, it, no, no, it was the one, I think it was, like, seven. God, there's too many. There's too many of those movies. You know, when I was a kid, like, Ugh. Are you ready? Dude, that's so weird. When I was a kid, I got obsessed with those to the point where my dad made me delete them before I could watch all of them. Hmm. Like, I went on a full autistic, like, stare down of Friday the 13th. Like, I watched, like, one after the next after the next. But I watched them during the day, so it didn't scare me. Dude, if you watch them on Halloween night at 3 a.m. and the dark is most creepiest night ever, they still wouldn't be scary. Are you afraid, Isaac? No. There's no going back. Nightmare on Elm Street is creepy, the first one. It's easier when there's no I do like Nightmare on Elm Street a little better. It's a uh, better series. Molly Not is quite never quite as many of them. Molly no, there's there's a good bit. Well not in comparison. There's only like five or six. Um, try nine. If you're not ready. Hold on. There's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, no. Five. Freddy's Dead. New Nightmare. Remake. Freddy Jason. Yeah, nine. Well, I don't count then the. the Remake or Freddy vs. Juice. <laughs> okay, you should, but still, seven is pretty high. Well, they don't really follow the storyline. There is no storyline. It's just this man is here yes, and he is. kills people. 
No, there's not. Yes, there is. The only ones that were really connected were 1, 3, 4, and 5. 2 was not connected at all. Fair enough, but still. You telling me Dream Warriors ain't got nothing to do with it? Also, oh. 4 was pretty good. I, I like 3 the best. It had you know, a sweet song by Dokken. I have that song on my playlist. <laughs> it had a sick music video too. Cause we're the Dream Warriors. You know, that was the one where they had the cool idea, like, "Hey, what about lucid dreaming?" And they could actually fight back against Freddy. It's like, yeah, oh, that's really cool. And then in the next movie, since they didn't kill the black guy in the in number three, they killed him like in the first two minutes of four because they said that they forgot to kill him. <laughs> that's almost kind of like the Exorcist trilogy. Never saw it. Never will. I refuse. Really also, super retarded. Yeah. Also, this has become well, it now. It was never supposed to be a trilogy, which is yeah. why it sucked. Hey, Exorcist Three had a really good jump scare. It's the only thing it had good. <laughs> but in the first one is I am Satan, I am the devil, and then throughout the entirety of the second one, it's like, yeah, his name is Pazuzu. <laughs> The lamest demon name of all time. Pazuzu? That, that is weird. I don't want to yeah, say it's so. literally I, I don't mess with demons. I don't mess with demons. I'm not even going to say his name. Di I avoid. Pazuzu. He's referenced in Futurama. He was Farnsworth's gargoyle. I remember that. Also, this has turned less of a Dead Space playthrough and more the Brandon and Barry podcast. The B and B podcast. Can we ha can we make a podcast called the B and B podcast? Where we just sit here and talk about a topic of the day. That'd be kind of cool. That would be fun. We should do that. <laughs> we're we're like two years past quarantine when every bro out there said, oh, "I'm gonna have a podcast." But I think we could do it because of the fact that we're such nerds and nerds would like this stuff. We can talk about demon names and how most of them don't even have anything to do with real demons, because they're not. Yeah, we can talk about Evangelion Lord to Nauseam, where we lose half the viewers. No, no, no. You don't understand how important it was for him to jack off on her comatose body. <laughs> it really was important to his character building that he did that, and that they showed it happen. It was, but man. The farm noises in the background were not necessary, though. <laughs> the little... <laughs> you can upload the marker from the console. Come on. Nicole, why aren't you doing it? Why do I have to hit all the buttons? Oh yeah, welcome to Age of Seven. Ugh. That marker lit up and I got chills down my body. Yeah, that's your answer to why the Ishimura is still gonna fall. Because it's tethered to... the... The payload up there, so the payload's gonna bring the ship down with it. Or something to that effect. Come on, we need to hurry. I wanna kill you. You know what's funny? She what? is physically there. Really? How? But also not. Like, is it like a hallucinogen that could... Hallucinogen, wow, my brain. Honestly, it's a really cool twist, and I don't... I really don't want to, like, ruin it. Well, I know vaguely about it. Like, I know that she's not real. That's why I'm like, I don't like you.
So, um, if you need proof that your computer listens to you, um, since I've been playing Diablo 1, I got a recommendation from Carbot Animations, who apparently did a whole series on Diablo 1 and 2. They're the guys that made the iPhoney uh, Elden Ring animations. Oh, yeah. Like the tiny little thumb looking guy. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I watched them. And they did um the whole thing called uh, Diablo LOL. Oh, you think Diablo our computer LOL. doesn't listen to us? Our computer 100% listens to us. It was like, hey, this guy's playing Diablo and he's looked up stuff about it. Recommend it to. Oh, jeez! <laughs> they had, um. Some pins made as merchandise of the different classes from Diablo 2, as well as a special set of the three primevals of Diablo, Mephisto, and Bell. <laughs> They're adorable little stupid cartoon cells, and like, I'm a good thing. It's just funny looking. It was hilarious in the Diablo 1 animation, they had Diablo doing a, the floss dance. That is funny. <laughs> He's got this dopey little smile on his face, just doing the floss. They can't stay in it for long. I've seen it. With this pedestal. Why there? It amplifies. The marker's pulse will be felt across the planet. The dead will sleep. Yeah, how to make a marker in the next game, Isaac's gonna be like, ah, ah, It's in my head! And remember the whole time he's being lied to about what the marker is gonna do when it gets to the pedestal. Really? What he's being told is that the pedestal amplifies the dead space, but what it actually does is amplify the marker's signal. And it's going to link it back up to the hive mind. Huh. That's interesting. My inventory is... Wow, I didn't notice how full my inventory was. Because technically, the marker is the mind of the Brother Moon. Interesting. It's really weird. Should I just buy six nodes? Or five nodes, and just get the line gun upgrade? Shoot, if you want. Did you sell ping? Yep. Okay, cool. I saved all that money so I could get the level 6 rig in New Game Plus, but... I'm not going to play New Game Plus run of this. I mean, that's fair. And just because I have a feeling the game's getting close to it, it's like Climax. You still got like 40 minutes, but yeah. That's close. It is close, but man, this part takes forever. <laughs> oh, they also have this funny little thing in the Diablo animations where they flip the script where it's the adventurers who are the bad guys. Like the demons are just hanging out, like playing cards and stuff, then the characters who want loot just bust in and tear everybody apart. That is funny. Like apparently there's a thing in Diablo 2 called Uber Tristram, which is uh, the town from the first game. But this time it contains all three of the primeval bosses in mm. one location. Hey, hey, should, should I get this just to punch enemies? It's hilarious, and it's really good. I'm not going to use it. Capacity it is. <laughs> and the three primevals, which are all brothers, obviously, but they're just playing a game of poker.
It's also hilarious because Mephisto is supposed to be the smart one, so he should be good at poker, but he's losing very badly to Bale. <laughs> I don't know who Bale is. He's the squiggly tentacle thing in the picture. Diablo should be pretty good at it too because he's the most clever of them, despite not being technically the smartest. You could be clever and not the smart. I'm super clever, but I'm definitely retarded. Bell probably was winning just because apparently Bell really just likes eloquent things. He's the most well spoken of them all. And the least kind of demonic, in a sense. Makes sense. Well, Diablo is a traditional demon where he's this giant red monster thing, and Mephisto is this half corpse skeleton thing that just floats around. <laughs> Why well, Bale is a tentacle crab guy, but he still has a human face for the most part. I'm not really. I I want to like Diablo. I just don't. How come you don't want to? We should have played Minecraft Dungeons. That I feel like we would have had fun with that. But no, nobody wanted to play that with me. Nobody even got it, even though it was free. Oops. It's still free, you can still get it until tomorrow. Oh. You're not gonna. Just add it to your library, that way one day we could have it if we decide we have no more games to play in like a year. Hey, what happened last time I told you to get a game? It was Grisk of Rain, it was so good you platinumed it. <laughs> If it's free, I'll at least try it out. It's only fair. I don't even want to play it, just add it. Kinda... <laughs> I don't want to play, just add it and download it and never do anything. No, you don't even have to download it, just add it so... That was so many! Yeah, this last level is just like, alright, since it's the last level, throw everything at him. But you would think there'd be less because it's the... Like, we're not on the ship where everyone was. Yeah, but this was the colony, the mining colony. And not only that, but in the past, like 200 years ago, there was a colony. Which is how this all started. <sighs> so there's actually more on the planet than there is on the ship. That is... Did, did I mention that's retarded? It makes more sense. The ship takes less to run than an entire mining operation. <laughs> Gosh. 
That thing is so freaking ethereal. <laughs> Nothing about it looks right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just reading what Molly said. Sorry. She, like I said, she's oh. going to bed soon, so I'm just trying to... I thought she got a little eldritch horror there and had to regain your sanity. <laughs> No, I lost my sanity a while ago. Sorry, I just didn't want anything to come charging out at me while this is happening. <laughs> it's so creepy. <laughs> hmm, you worship Jesus, so I'm going to call you Little Christ. Hey, that's freaking awesome! Did you hear that, guys? We're called Christians now. <laughs> More or less, that's how it happened. How much? Yeah, I have a ton of ammo for that also. you oh you're not saving anything in your inventory for later you're not gonna have any ammo me I okay We could have Gallo on as guest pot uh, as like a guest to our podcast. Hmm. Better have that uh oh, I hit the sensor button real close by. Dude, having the back button and the heel button as the same thing is the most retarded thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I keep spam I keep hitting O and then healing myself. I'm like Yeah, me barely hurt with my ten large med kits. Whoops. I believe in you. How are you still alive? Yes. I should have just done that from the beginning. All you had to do was shake him and yell. Dude, th th those things suck. Have you seen the footage from the Sons of the Forest where the guy just picks up logs and throws them at the cannibal so much that the cannibal just starts running away traumatized? Yes. And I can't wait for that game to come to console. <laughs> I can't wait to be less competent in that game than the freaking AI guy that gives you a thumbs up. Dude, I, I, you've done it before. 
Wouldn't surprise me if you did it again. I just healed again! Dude, I just healed again. I just wasted a heal. I was at full health on that one. <laughs> like, heal should be bound to up on the D-pad. Can I do that right now? Is that a thing I can do? Maybe. Oh, nope, can't do that because that's weapon assigned. <laughs> Guy came in and threw a 50 pound weighted blanket on his friend. Dude crumbled. I just wasted a heal. I only have three now. now Why would we have to have the sensor button when Gallo's a guest star? He's a teacher. He could talk about stories with his kids and stuff. <laughs> you know why? His uh, little random outbursts. And I'm not talking about the homosexual ones. The homosexual ones. Yeah. Do you know I started clipping all of his little outbursts? No. Especially last night where he said that and then goes, I'm a teacher. <laughs> Throw to send it to the school. <laughs> Hack into his computer one day and switch his lesson with just those clips. Emergency elevator offline. Notifying maintenance. Power restored to West Generator. Oh, there's a heal that I just don't need. <laughs> Is that laugh okay? That's pretty good. Okay. It's a very condescending Woody Woodpecker. It's pretty, pretty boss. <laughs> Oh yeah, Riley um, has been telling me about everything he's been watching lately because he's gotten into his own little autistic little kick of wanting to watch every single John Carpenter movie. And he was telling me some of the lore about the creation of his version of the thing. And that when the thing came out, it was the commercial and box office failure. Yep. Because everyone thought it was going to be something like E.T. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a cute little alien. Ah! So one of the first scenes I've ever watched of his version of the thing was when they're trying to operate on that guy and they reach towards his stomach and it just opens. Okay, so my dad thought it would be a great idea for 10-year-old Brandon to see the thing at 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's not as bad. I mean, that's that's worse than me, but when I was around like 10 or 11, I had a bad habit of watching things I shouldn't then bothering my dad because I'd get scared in the night. <laughs> and I watched Mars Attacks. Nar, 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 nar. 
I thought it was supposed to be funny, but at it that is. age, watching people be vaporized into green and red skeletons was not okay. Dude, Mars Attacks is one of my favorite movies. It's great now, but at the time, I was like... <gasps> I, well, I had never really, I mean, I knew what skeletons looked like, but I wasn't used to seeing them in mass numbers. <laughs> it was also during that time period of my life, I was reading horror stories and books. And <laughs> I really shouldn't have been, but whatever. <laughs> And it took me forever. It wasn't until like a couple of months ago I um, learned what it was. Oh yeah, you better heal. Ho! Oh! But um, I had rented from the school library scary stories to tell in the dark. You know who is. Thank you for telling me to heal, by the way. Okay, how did that hit like that? Magic. But I haven't Magic. remembered it verbatim, but ever since I read that book, I've had the rhyme that was in it stuck in my head of, don't ever laugh as a hearse goes by, or you may be the next to die. Yeah. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. You. Yeah. But I only ever remember the very first part. I just have some weird. I, dude, I saw the movie and I I got yelled at for screaming in the movie. Some guys like some. Well, keep in mind, you've seen pictures of Gallo. Like he's a big guy, right? He's six yeah. foot, like big guy. Some guy that made Gallo look like me and you was like, I have my four-year-old kid here, and he didn't scream. And Tyler and Gallo are like, oh my god, Brennan's gonna say something. Brennan's gonna say something. And meanwhile, I'm just like... <laughs> dead <laughs> silent, like, terrified. I, w I wanted to say something. <laughs> my mom also has... Like, it's kind of funny, like, as much as I have in common with my dad, it's just random things about my mom's past and her childhood that make me go, Oh, that's why I'm like that. Like, the reason I like laughing at people's pain is because of my mom. When we were cutting, or trying to get limbs that had broken and fallen in a tree in my yard a couple of weekends back, my dad was on a ladder, and the ladder, for some reason, had gotten warped a bit. So when he was trying to do something, he fell off. Like, it looked horrible. I was on the other ladder and he just goes... Zhoop. But he does a little roll when he falls and he gets up and he's completely fine, thankfully. Just a little sore. And he looks over at my mom who's holding back a laughter and he's like, Just go ahead, go on, laugh at me. I know you want to. At least your dad's a good sport and knows. But the other thing is, my grandpa took her to see Piranhas and the Exorcist when she was a child. Piranhas is not bad. The Exorcist is like, the, like... I think she said she went and saw Piranhas when she was six. Uh, that's not too bad. That just makes you afraid of I them, mean, like... Yeah, but I mean, back then... It's hard for us to think about what scary movies must have been like at that time period. But yeah, The Exorcist, oh my word. Dude, that movie, like, is not... I don't like... It's one of the few movies I don't like watching. I've seen it once, and like, I don't ever want to see this again. I'm good. 
This isn't even how any of that works, but man, did they do a good job making it creepy. <laughs> Go back, go back for a moment. Go over there to where the little light is, and just look at the marker. <sighs> red night light. Oh, see, you went better than I did. I went right to bad dragon. Dude, I don't know where the other part to shoot is. Up there. Oh. I was like, is this the part where you go up? Then you turn and like, oh yeah, it is. Got all of that squishy floor that makes you walk slow. Just walking on necro flesh. What? One whole thing. Oh yeah. Those guys can actually hurt you. They're prototype wall guardians, but they can't actually like fit, attack you and chase you. Okay, yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. Hey, you know, there's a part of me that wonders if I shot this right at the right spot up here, if I could have hit that. Maybe? I wouldn't say that's impossible. No, I bet you... I bet you it's a hundred percent possible. Me. Mm. It's only like 12 seconds, but it, it's lasts so long. Hey, do you play Cyberpunk, right? 2077? Yeah. Do you ever get a Devastan? Nope. I know what you're talking about, though. The main character in Edge Runners, that's his like main augmentation, and they make it so cool because they'll like show what he does in slow motion, and then they'll cut back to how everyone else saw it. And it's just like he's settling on the other side, and the person has a hole in their head. Yeah, I've seen um, the little trailer where he's on the train and the girl steals his chip, and the next thing she knows, he has a bag. Nah, there, there's a better scene right after he gets like more cyber met, like augmentation where he goes and he runs and the guy goes to hit him with a hammer so he activates the thing and like jumps over top of him and then they play it back in like normal time and it was just him running and then you see like a blur up and over the guy and the guy's head's exploded out. And I was like, okay, I, I really like that. It kind of got ruined for me to want to watch it just because I didn't care about cyberpunk anymore at that point and, you know, spoils just well, everywhere. I knew spoilers, but I still watched it because I wanted to see how everyone says it was really good. I promise you, if you watch it, you will not be disappointed. Okay. Like, yeah. Well, I will say in attesting to that. That's one of the reasons I really don't like how Netflix does their thing. Because they release everything, then everyone binges them instantly, and then, then they just spoil it for everybody instantly. Honestly, I thought about that too. No, I, I still watched it. I still really, I liked it. It was really good. 
Like, if you don't know, if you know what it's going to be and everything, it's a little, like, okay. But, like, it's still the animation, the storyline, stuff that happens per each episode. It's like, oh, oh, that's cool. I guess that's true. Also, Rebecca. You're almost there, Isaac. Get the marker to the pedestal. Hurry. <laughs> the little tiny woman of death. Dude, I everyone loves Rebecca, and there's a reason everyone loves Rebecca. Cause she died. You don't know that yet. She got smashed by the Atom Smasher. But honestly, even that fight was really cool because it just. I can't. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. Like, I know you're not the most interested in it because it was spoiler ish for you. Well, I but... don't know everything, but some of those, like, big character deaths and. Whatever the moon thing was going on, I was like, well, what's the freaking point of watching it then? Yeah, if you know about the moon thing, but you don't know about the moon thing, watch it. Like, that first episode, you'll be like, okay, this is, this is cool. Also, that was a really, really well placed. Yeah, that worked pretty good. Okay. I really like that they made the dead space effect actually visible in, in this game. Because in the original game, it didn't make any sense and nobody really ever explained it very well. I don't think it was until Dead Space 2 that it was really talked about. It could be wrong. I like this. I like. We're just having a nice time. We're chilling. Yes, Nicole, my beloved, totally not dead girlfriend. I think you missed the explanation part about what happened between them. Because they gave Isaac a new backstory. Did they? Yeah. Turns out that his parents were both unitologists. And his mother became so obsessed that she had to be put in an asylum. And that's where he met Nicole. Because Nicole was a unitologist. But after what happened with his mom, she left the church. And of course, Isaac was never part of it. But somehow or another, his mom was very severely influenced by the black marker on Earth. Because. Nicole cleared his mom being sound of mind and all that and shortly after they got home his mom killed her husband and then killed herself 
Interesting. Now reunited with the pedestal. And before that had happened, they had already discussed Nicole going to the Ishimura to get away from the church and start up a new career with CEC. So that was all cool. But then that happened, and during the phone call, Isaac straight up blames Nicole for his parents' death. Wow. And then Nicole yells at him because they were, she was fine. And then it was her, it was Isaac's idea for her to join up with the CEC since Isaac was in the CEC. Uh -huh. Hold on, I gotta reconnect this with that. I gotta hit the thing yeah, hickey with the. Yeah, I gotta touch the uh, bad dragon, double sided. Quit saying that. It tell me it doesn't look like that. I am cursed with the knowledge that yes, it does indeed kind of look like one of their items. Yes, it looks like one designed to go in both holes at the same time. I meant one for that that they made um, based off of Ghidorah. 